Hello and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 14th of March. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. As ever, I'm going to give you a broad overview of what to expect, but please stay with me because I then will dive deep into each of the 12 zodiac signs and give you in forensic detail an idea of what to expect. Now the sign of Pisces is very much the end of the astral journey and next week the sun is going to be moving through the vernal point and we start through the spring equinox uh, the new astral year. So collectively I think for a lot of us this week particularly is a time to really get in touch with our deeper feelings and that could see us feeling a little bit nostalgic we may want to withdraw a little bit and find some peace and tranquility. Any place that's near to nature or water can be particularly healing. Now, of course, Mercury moved into the sign of Pisces last week too. Technically debilitated, but brilliant if you want to write a song, share your feelings uh, through a poem, or just think of the creative strands that help you to express the corners of your feelings which are much less based on the practical sphere. But we do have on Friday a full moon, a full moon in the practical Virgo. So that full moon asks us to balance the energy of the new moon that occurred earlier this month which of course embraced the buoyancy of Jupiter to find a balance between those more ethereal energies of Pisces and the more practical reality of Virgo. So if you do find yourself feeling that you want to be in a much more spiritual or healing dimension, I think your timing is impeccable this week, but the Virgo energy is saying to try and integrate it into the more physical way that you're leading your life. So if escapism really appeals to you this week, that full moon is saying important to consider issues like nutrition, exercise, life organization, and just making sure that we see tangible progress. So we can all float off a little bit with this Pisces energy, but that can make it all the more evocative. Now on the back of that full moon, Pluto from the middle of this week is angling into the sun, but it's in a very positive way in a sextile. The sun sextile in Pluto can see internal changes or physical changes in our reality. A sextile 60 degrees constructive. But also from the middle of the week, the glorious alliance between Venus and Mars, fantastic for socialising, that comes into an abrasive right angle with uh, Uranus, the planet of uh, truth, but also of freedom. And the freedom fighter is now in a sign or has been for some while, that it's not so comfortable in the sign of Uranus. Now, of course, world peace has been shattered recently. The last time Uranus was in Taurus uh, began in 1937, I think. And of course, that followed with the Second World War. So a lot of turbulence in the world. And I think next week, after the vernal equinox, Mars does come into an exact square with Uranus, which can be tested, particularly in terms of very sudden, unexpected, and uh, very sort of uh, forceful events are possible. But in our own situation, the combination of Venus and Mars in Aquarius is very much about our higher values. And Uranus rules the sign of Aquarius, so there is a kind of it's the modern ruler. So there's a kind of receptiveness. So when it comes to our financial affairs, which is the physical plane of Taurus, I think it's best not to be too idealistic. So for example, if a friend, very Aquarius, suggests getting involved in some kind of get rich quick scheme and you feel the impulse to join in, I'd just slow down because Uranus squaring Venus and Mars can make us very, very, uh, a, a very uh, sudden in our movements, much more impulsive. But equally, we may be drawn to someone in our group that we find very attractive, and this could happen in quite a, a sudden way, 
or we may, in a romantic relationship, want to engender greater excitement and spontaneity in it. So things have been getting a little bit too dull and predictable. A great time to try to inject a little bit of devilment into the situation by doing something together which just creates a little bit of excitement and can reignite the spark that you had when you first met. So that's the overall pattern for us all. If you are new to my channel, I would be uh, delighted if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to get your free written daily horoscope fire to your device each morning, please see the link below. And you can get your 12 month forecast and character analysis based on your personal astrology, time, date and place of birth and ascend above this zodiac broadcast by seeing the link below and get 30% off with my special offer package. Hello Aquarius and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 14th of March. The collection of energy in Pisces continues this week. Pisces for you is the second house of your situation which is very much to do with everyday resources. It can be to do with your core values or the foundations of your world. Now, these areas I think are going to be vitally important to this week's activities. But because Pluto is connecting with the Sun from midweek, all the efforts accumulatively over a very long period of time that you've invested into a situation could start to really come to the fore in a very positive way. I know we have the full moon and the full moon could bring some costs in your direction. We all know that the cost of living is increasing and that's challenging, but the full moon can also see you thinking about not just this everyday situation around your resources, but how you can feed your thinking into how this will play out down the track. So that's a fascinating dimension, but Pluto's asking you to dig deep within yourself to really understand where you want to gain uh, satisfaction and enrichment for what gives you your sense of self, your sense of value, your sense of worth. So it doesn't have to work in a purely material way. It can work in a spiritual way too. Now, of course, Venus and Mars continue their combination in your sign. This is very, very lovely. It's increasing your sex appeal, your charisma, or if you want to focus on more creative trends, it's giving you a lot of encouragement to be true to yourself. Of course, Saturn, your traditional ruler, is in your sign too, asking you to narrow your focus. But if you narrow your focus and then work on the things that you're seriously talented at, then that can give you some reward. I think it's all possible this week. But Uranus is in a clash with Venus and Mars from midweek. In a romantic context, in a, an ongoing relationship, you probably want to feel that your partner recognises your worth. And that could be in terms of how you dress, your taste, in terms of all sorts of strands of life, whether it's music or interest, or being aware of just how hard you work. So if that kind of uh, praise and acknowledgement and recognition is coming in, I think Uranus can just give you a little bit of a sense of restlessness around where you live. If you're single, it's possible that your love life may feel a bit helter-skelter at the moment. I think the best thing to do is just enjoy the praise and there could be quite a few people that are showing an interest in you, but be guided by where your values may mesh with someone else. So someone could come from a completely different background in terms of the country they grew up in, the education they had, even the type of money they earn. But if their core values match yours, this could be a time when some of your doubts melt away and you can really see that actually you can invest in them and, and, and a joint uh, alliance together with a great deal more confidence. But it's really being guided by those shared values. That's the key thing around all relationships at this time. Mm -hmm.